In the last episode, we established that blockchains with a pure proof of work consensus mechanism enables a high level of security from a multitude of attacks, including a double spend attack. Pure proof of work is at its best when the miners of the network are widely distributed. Proof of work doesn't fare as well if the miners become more concentrated or centralized. If 51% of the miners join forces, it will be highly unlikely that a system could protect itself from a malicious attack. ASIC mining hardware makes a system more resilient than a standard GPU or CPU mining system, as it's a dedicated unit for mining a specific coin or mining algorithm. For instance, the algorithm SHA-256, which is used for the Bitcoin blockchain, or Blake-256, which is used for the Decred blockchain. But as well as making the security vastly stronger, it's also seen as a centralizing factor in the long term. Due to the cost of operations and only certain parties having the capacity and influence to run enough machines to be profitable. Large mining operations, big business and governments are seen as the main future benefactors if the process remains unchanged. A quote from Dave Collins, lead developer for Decred said, Without the current implementation of ASIC miners on the Decred chain, Decred in its early stages would have been an easy target for malicious attacks. There is a cost vector with any attack and the more hash power a network has, the higher the cost of attack would be. The following calculations assume that the attacker has managed to acquire 51% of the hash power. The current minimal cost to attack the Bitcoin blockchain for one hour with its current hash rate of 113,000 petahashes, is likely to be more than $1.2 million. Other chains that use pure proof of work, especially those that use Bitcoin's SHA-256 mining algorithm, are greatly compromised. For instance, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash has a current hash rate of 1,270 petahashes, but it would only cost approximately $15,000 to attack it for one hour. It's not really fair for me to compare Decred's cost of attack against a pure proof of work chain, as Decred is built on a hybrid system of proof of work and proof of stake. But because of these developments, it's likely that Decred will be in the realms of 20 times more secure than a system with a similar hash rate and price per coin. Currently, Decred's hash power is only 210 petahashes but the cost of attack is just short of $1 billion per hour. And as Decred has a current market cap of just over $1 billion, it makes this attack completely pointless. So the next question is, what happens if an attack is successful? If an attack is successful, this would cause the blockchain to start following a new block path and continue down that path until the attack is stopped or the hash power gets redistributed. This is due to the blockchain protocol having a built-in feature that determines the longest chain as being the true chain. If a miner had more than 51% of the hash power, they can build blocks faster, causing them to have the longest chain. Blockchains need wide distribution to prevent this kind of attack happening. The consequences of any of these kinds of attacks is that the participants can lose a lot of money. And the longer the attack goes on for, the more serious this becomes. In the last year, I know of two relatively popular chains that have been affected by this kind of attack, and they are Bitcoin Gold and Faro. Faro was previously known as Zcoin. To mitigate against a 51% attack or a deep reorganization of the blockchain, Decred has a mechanism that rejects a miner from reorganizing the chain by more than five blocks. This can be done because Decred is not a pure proof of work blockchain. Instead, it uses a proof of stake mechanism to validate the work of the miners to make sure they remain honest. This system is referred to as chain locking. Chain locking is starting to be incorporated by other blockchains and are now seen as a valid way to protect the deeper history of a blockchain network. The future of blockchain security. You'll have to assume as blockchain technology becomes more popular and valuable that various entities are going to want to attack the system for massive gains. And if this technology becomes a true store of value or money, you can guarantee that these attackers will become more sophisticated and organized. It's for this reason that whichever project you choose to store your wealth in, you want to make sure it's adaptable enough to protect itself over time.
In the next episode, we'll look at how Decred's hyper-secure hybrid system has been built with this in mind. <laughs>